India that was Bharat has a glorious past. The country has rich traditions and cultural heritage from prehistoric days. Dharma and Satya were the rock anchors of the nation. Country was well advanced in all domains of knowledge, mathematics, astronomy, governance, healthcare, literature, and above all, righteous living. Respect for teachers, parents, elders formed the core of the culture of the nation. The traditions and values of the nation could outlive the series of foreign invasions we had to face. Today, even after 70 years of independence, nearly 40% of our population is below poverty line. Basic necessities of life such as clean drinking water, housing, clothing and a square meal are not within the reach of a large section of the society. Ethics and values have declined over the years. The main reason is that corruption has taken the center stage in all our national life. Elections are being manipulated with money and muscle power and persons with criminal records get elected. Vote bank politics has corrupted even the educational system. There is a general decay in governance and in law enforcement. Intolerance, dishonesty, greed, hypocrisy are unmistakable signs of decay in our social values. It was in this background, the Foundation for Restoration of National Values was launched as a non-political, non-profit and non-religious organization in June 2008. It was registered as a society under the guidance and inspiration of Swami Bhumananda Tirthaji, an enlightened sage of Kerala. A society cannot obviously live for an indefinitely long period unless it has some value-sustaining power in it. FRNV seeks to have support and participation from all branches of our society, industry, administration, education, research, and what else not. We want cooperation from anybody. Everybody should enlist their support to FRNV. The main objective of the FRNV is to restore to the nation our age-old values so that people individually as well as collectively find an abiding inner persuasion to be truthful, ethical, patriotic and societal in their aspirations and goals. There is no dharma higher than truth. Satyan nasti paro dharma FRNV has on its advisory board eminent personalities like Sri Ratan N. Tata, retired Chief Justice Sri M. N. Venkatachalaya, former Chief Election Commissioner Sri T. S. Krishnamurthy, former Chief Vigilance Commissioner Sri N. Vittal, former Chairperson of the National Commission for Women Srimati Vibha Parthasarthi, and Metroman Dr. E. Sridharan. Dr. E. Sridharan is also the national president of FRNV right from the beginning. FRNV functions on a corporate style through a managing committee assisted by a chief executive officer. FRNV has a structured setup with members, life members and friends. Recently, a separate membership forum for corporate houses has also been set up. FRNV conducted a national level summit in November 2008, which was inaugurated by Honorable Speaker of our Parliament and keynote address by Honorable Chief Justice of India, in which the following areas were identified for FRNV's action plan. Values-based education to lay the foundation for future. Electoral reforms to cleanse the present system. Administrative reforms for good governance of the country even at the grassroots levels. Police reforms to make the police effective and accountable. Sanitation, health and hygiene. FRNV is a standard setting organization for national values, ethics and responsible living. 
the values that it is working on are universal and already enshrined in the Constitution of India. All its activities enumerated above are designed to work towards accomplishing our national and cultural values. The project on values-based education captures this most beautifully. FRNV works with schools, students, teachers, parents and school management. This project aims at creating an education ecosystem in which each stakeholder decides to embark upon values-based living. It identifies the values to be lived by all stakeholders and collectively co-create an environment which is conducive for such a living. The apartment is mission to convince the corporate that it is possible to do business in a very transparent way and a very successful way, adopting good values and ethics is possible. By values we mean some eternal, unchanging, permanent concepts which are absolutely necessary to hold the society together. FRNV believes in Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha and that's extremely important when it comes to propagating togetherness of people in our society, togetherness of people in a family, in a school. FRNV as an institution has very good basis and it has got national values as the standard, as the goal and also the basis for exhorting the people and getting their support and participation. I think every one of you should register your support and stand together with FRN. Our main effort is to awake the citizens to respect and love their motherland. Respect our national anthem and national flag. Infuse values and character among the citizens, particularly in the younger generations, and make the citizens proud of their country. This we intend to achieve by influencing the decision makers and working with the government and like-minded organizations. We appeal to you to be a part of our movement. Together, let's create a better future.